Hello YouTube, Ken Hell here with another Genshin Impact video for you. And today's video is going to be my guide to Sucrose, this girl here. She's been my main character of sorts here for the past few weeks since I got her on the, the event banner for the last event. So uh, I feel like I got some good experience here to show uh, show you guys what I know about her. If you got it, not sure if you can if you want to build her or not, uh, then uh, maybe I'll give you some good reasons. Now there's two probably two main ways you can play her. Uh, one would be as a DPS support and the other one would be as a main character, as a main DPS. I don't necessarily recommend that you go for the main DPS uh, route right away because there is quite a bit it relies quite a bit on, on gear and things like that uh, but we'll go over that one, one uh, as we go through the talents and things like that and weapon recommendations and things like that but as a support for to DPS in the team uh, she is really great as long as you understand her interactions and things like that she's not going to be doing a ton of damage on her own so if you bring her to a co-op other people with four or three other players on the domains you're going to be seeing her uh, her damage drop off quite a bit but she does bump up other people's damage quite nicely yeah, we'll go quick over the talents because um, you guys can see it in game now the normal attacks and nothing special normal in charge attacks just do some damage as everybody else it's just they have more as a filler the interesting thing about all the mages in the game all, all the characters that use the catalyst in the game is that uh, their auto attack is based on the element on their element so every time i hit an enemy with uh, my auto attack here or my charge attack i will be uh, giving them some uh, animo damage so if there are any other elements already in the character on the enemy then uh that's going to be proccing some kind of elemental reaction. So keep that in mind when you, you know, if you're thinking about building any of the characters, any of the catalysts. The main benefit, of course, is that it's going to be triggering a bunch of elemental reactions as long as your the other characters on your team are putting their elements on you on the mobs. And that's one reason why I mentioned that if you go into a co-op game with the other players that are not applying their auras, the elemental auras to characters, you know, you're not going to be proccing anything. You're just going to be doing the pretty um, pretty uh, low amount of damage. You can see 40. 46%, 67% for uh, level 6. Auto attack is not really anything earth shattering. Although the charge attack is decent, but everything else is, is quite quite small. But I'm moving on to her second skill here, which is a stable animal hypostasis. That's her E skill. Uh, just does some AoE animal damage. It's pretty decent, uh, pretty uh, decent range on the AoE. Let me show you here. If I cast it, you can see the circle is okay. You can cast catch quite a few enemies. Now, from all the way to, from, the, from the center to the border. So if you place it right in the middle, you know, if there are two, mo two uh, mobs on the side here and you cast it right in the middle, you'll grab them both, you'll, you'll hit them both. The biggest problem with this skill here is it's a very long cooldown. It's got a 15 second cooldown. Not the, not the longest cooldown of all the E skills, but uh, you know, considering that your auto attack sucks, having a E attack that can only be cast once every 15 seconds is pretty unfortunate the damage is pretty decent 296 percent damage here so the, the much better than these damage numbers here the one thing that you can do to make this better of course is getting her first constellation if you look here on constellation one if you're fortunate enough to get it and i did get it it adds one charge to your e talent your a uh, stable animal hypostasis so that's going to allow you to to use two in a row and so that's going to make the uh, essentially have to have the cooldown of that talent the other thing that you can do is you can also use the gambler's artifact which i don't know what the what there's one the gambler artifact is pretty decent for her because uh, it not only uh, um, uh, augments your elemental skill damage by 20% but also resets it every 15 seconds if you kill an enemy. Uh, resetting uh, when you kill an enemy is not too bad. It's not too hard to kill mobs if you have other elements being put on enemies so that you can trigger with your talents. And the, the best way to mitigate this issue the, with the E, of course, would be to get the sacrificial fragments, which is a gacha weapon, four star gacha weapon, which unfortunately I do not have. I really wish I did, but I do have the sword, the big sword, uh, the claymore version here on my Beto and you can see here so the sacrificial uh, fragments the catalyst version would have the same effect here in my case it's a refinement 2 so a 50% chance of resetting the cooldown of course the higher the refinement rank the better it will be because it not only it increases the percent chance but also reduces the cooldown here so I believe a refinement 5 it's like 15 seconds or 13 seconds or something like that so if you manage to get sacrificial fragment for sucrose then she becomes a more viable DPS on her own because she can be able to spam those AOE uh, those elements mental skills quite a bit more especially because we're gonna get two charges from the reset uh, the weapon i do have now on her is a favonius codex because it's 
just something to give me some energy so that I can cast my elemental burst more often, which is speaking of elemental burst, we can go into it right now. So her elemental burst is like a smaller version of Venti's hurricane. The, and by that, I mean, it pulls enemies close uh, to, to the center of it, but it's a lot weaker. The, the pull is a lot weaker. It doesn't have as much of a range. And Venti pretty much just vacuums anything that can be picked up from a very, far, very, very far range. Her range is a lot more limited, but it does a decent damage. And the, the cooldown is 20 seconds. It only lasts six seconds too. So it's a definitely a weaker version of Venti's ult, but you can also make this better with constellations. Again, if you're lucky enough, or if she comes up on the, on the shop there for they can buy her for the star glitter constellation two there you go uh he increases the, the duration by two so you'd be doing noise that's what 30 percent of the duration right so 30 percent increase on the duration here if you manage to get her constellation two uh the, the only constellation other constellation that, are, that is really relevant here or that would be really nice it would be constellation four it reduces the cooldown every seven normal attacks it would reduce the cooldown by one to seven seconds so i don't know technically that would solve that issue too with the long cooldown but you no know, getting four constellations is probably less reasonable than getting a gambler set and a sacrificial fragment for your weapon here but so yeah so continuing on here the yeah this is a smaller version a weaker version of venti's ult but venti is a five star so you can expect that then moving on here to perhaps the, the best part of her kit at least if you're not planning on using her as a main character if you just want to use her to boost other uh, your party's dps this is where she's going to shine over here so her first talent every time she triggers a swirl all the party care all the characters in the party with a matching element of the the swirl of course not not an emo uh, element but if you trigger the swirl with pyro for example all the pyro characters in the party will get the elemental mastery increased by 50 and as you may know elemental mastery is what increases the damage of el elemental reactions not there's nothing else to influence the elemental reaction damage it's just a elemental mastery and the character's level and that needs to be on the character that is going to do the reaction so giving 50 elemental mastery to that character for eight seconds every time you do a swirl is definitely not that bad especially since she's going to be triggering triggering a lot of swirls and then the next talent here is the one that every time you use either of her skills is going to give 20 percent of sucrose's total elementary mastery to any other all the other party members just to, regardless of the element they they have so this is a little more forgiving than this one this one is a specific element this one will affect anything so you get 50 from here plus uh, however much 20% of your elemental mastery is for 8 seconds and then you can switch to another character and do more reactions and do a ton of damage. The unfortunate part about these two talents here as you may see in the description here they both exclude Sucrose so perhaps the best part of her talent unfortunately does not affect her so she cannot boost her own damage by boosting her own elemental mastery with these two. So because of this plus the long duration of her E the, the long cooldown of her E I should say she's definitely more of a support character although you can main her or kind of main her if you really like her style like i do i've been maining her like i said but that's because i'm stubborn uh without without the sacrificial fragments i would definitely not i'm just like i said i'm stubborn but yeah she cannot she will not be the, the one doing the most damage she's going to be just facilitating other characters to do the damage and then her last talent here it gives you a 10 percent chance to double the products whenever you craft a weapon or a character enhancing material which is not bad so comparing sucrose to venti here of course which is what most people are going to be comparing uh, to her too i would say venti may be a better choice if you need more cc right because his q his uh, burst elemental burst has a lot wider range and if you also need more energy you can venti is going to be better for you because he does with his uh second talent here he does give energy to to the party members if you if you do elemental absorption but sucrose is going to add more damage to your party because of catalyst conversion and molus favonius and of course you can have them both in your party and then you're going to get the elemental resonance from having two anima, which reduces the cooldown, which is also going to help with this here a little bit. Not too much. 5% of 15 seconds is not that much. Now, talking about uh, weapons, I already did a little bit. The only weapon that I think that it really, really would benefit her would be the sacrificial fragments. Everything else is kind of like whatever you want to do. I guess if you if you have the this one here, the Width Widsith, that might be nice because if you jump into the com into combat and the elemental mastery proc here procs, it's gonna be 240 extra elemental mastery for her if you have the, the Widsith at refinement rank one. So one of the three procs here will be very useful if you're using her as support. The other ones might help, but, but no, if you're only using her as support, not so much. Like I said, I have this one here for the uh, substat of energy recharge for the ult. If you had the solar pearl, of course, crit rate, but only if you're going to use her as your main DPS. If not, then there's no reason to put this in there. So for, other than that, we can use a prototype malice if you want, which uh, let's go to the blacksmith so that we can talk about that. All right, so here we are for 
the blacksmith and i guess I'm, i misspoke i meant no, you can craft the prototype malice because if you really just want to use her as a as a support you can have this and regenerate some uh, reheal your party members a little gimmicky but you know every two you know is you can recover your elemental burst rather fast and uh, give your party members a heal every few seconds there but the mappa mare is the one i was thinking about before when i mentioned the prototype malice but the mappa mare is going to give you elemental mastery as a substat so every time they level it up is going to increase your elemental mastery there and as we saw a minute ago on her talents 20 percent of elemental mastery will be given to party members every time she uses her skills so if you definitely if you can definitely put this in there for even more elemental mastery for your party members so as far as artifacts you probably want to go from the veridescent set for any if, you know, if you're going to end game her if you want to if you're willing to farm spend some of the value very valuable resin on on her you can use the veridescent veneer veneer because it's going to give you any more bonus damage but most importantly is going to increase the damage of her reactions what they're going to do with other characters because you're going to increase not only the swirl damage but also it's going to decrease the, the elemental resistance of the enemy that is got that, that has a swirl effect on them so this the four piece set is going to be a huge bonus for your damage other options here you can also use the like i said before the gambler set is going to increase elemental damage for your skill elemental skill and also reset that skill if you kill an enemy the biggest problem here in this case is that there's no five star set a uh, five star option for this set so you're never going to be as good your, your stats are never going to be as good as the five set and also this is really only a, an option here if you're going to be using her as as a main character trying to main dps her and then the other option for sets for her would be the wondrous wondrous trope here which is going to give a two-piece wondrous trope is going to give you 80 elemental mastery and then you can combine that with the instructress instructor two-piece set which is going to give you another 80 so, so just from having two instructor and two or well, the wondrous uh, trope the bard set you're going to get already 160 elemental mastery just from those two pieces from those two sets alone and of course you can get some more elemental mastery here on the actual substats or if you're lucky you can get it on the main stat i got one on the uh, and what again there you go this cut this a uh, wondrous string cattle here the the go the goblet thing i got elemental mastery in here plus crit rate and attack percent oh, decent row here again the hp and the defense or whatever but not not too shabby she wants elemental mastery so you get them get as much as you can if you're going to use her in your in your party as um uh support only to su to give the elemental mastery bu uh, buff to party members don't even worry about nemo damage here just go for full elemental mastery on your goblet but you can also get a recharge on the time piece here for to get her ult up more often her ult is pretty good because like i said it pulls enemies in so it's a pretty good crowd control and a way to increase the dps right if, if all the mobs are in the same spot you can hit them all at once that's a dps increase right there but I've, i haven't been too lucky getting the the veridescent veneer to drop i only have one time piece and you can see here it's fantastic hp defense defense possibly the worst clock <laughs> has ever dropped so i'm just have right now for now i have two veridescent two of the wondrous trope and then one instructor up here because he has elemental mastery here and crit damage and attack so pretty good drop pretty good pretty okay anyways uh stats on this one here i don't have anything better i could put this one in there but it has two defense it's got a crit rate so it might be better but as you can see here the, the crit damage on this one here 17 percent crit damage is a pretty chunky roll and i'm using her as my main dps as i mentioned which i don't recommend unless you have the the things that i mentioned the constellation one the sacrificial fragments and maybe i don't know if you need a gambler set at that point but maybe the gambler set there if you don't have a a better artifact set uh this is my my party that i've been rocking for a while well number four here number four swaps out every now and then but the fish show is pretty much uh, the the main support here for sucrose dps and that's because fish show has this wonderful talent here her level 60 talent which every time there's an electro related elemental reaction oz is going to do an extra attack with 80 percent officials attack so of course with the oz on the field and with sucrose spamming her elemental skills the electro swirl is going to be going off quite frequently and so will oz's extra attack and then of course bennett is here for well for the heal but also bennett is here for the extra attack bonus that will affect officials uh, damage from oz all right so let's go into floor six of abyss so i can give you a an idea here of how you can use sucrose if you want to have her as your main dps 
So I'm trying to get all these guys here. I'm relatively together, so I ideally gonna drop some kind of buff and then do this. I'm gonna use her ult here. You can see this pulling in the healer troll there and it, it sends me yet and all these limes are flying uh, coming in. So the range seems to be kind of not too bad. It's not not as it seems that is longer. The range is wider than I remembered, but you no, know, not as definitely not as strong as as uh, Venti's range. But you can see here things just kind of explode as you know, as you're getting the reactions, and of course many many reactions happening. And you're recharging the, uh, the pulse. The, the range is pretty, pretty, pretty nice, but the duration is not as you know. It, it only has a couple of poles in. So if you have the constellation, the second constellation, to increase the duration, then the pull is going to be a lot stronger than you're seeing here. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> the other, you can see that there's. It's very easy to trigger reactions with her because any, every time you you hit something, pretty much. Every time you're hitting something, you're going to be triggering triggering a swirl. There you go. See? And if you crit, and if you're doing things like that, so... Nah, as, long as, the, as long as the elemental... As long as the character has any kind of elemental aura on it, every time you hit with your your main attack, your, your normal attack, like this, see? Swirl. So, any 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 items in the game that also trigger other elemental reactions will pre, be pretty decent for her. If you don't have you know, the, the end game set... Uh oh, this guy's gonna try to kill me here. But, so that's a, that's a sucrose here. Let me get, let me show you Zin Chu. She's also pretty interesting because you can use his ult. That's not his ult. This is his ult. And of course, every time, everything that you, every time you hit something, you're gonna be triggering, sending the water from the sky and then combining it with the the animo naturally that comes naturally from your uh, from your element, from your weapon, from your book. And doing a lot of more reactions that way too. So Jin Chu is another option. I think, from my from my experience, uh, my Jin Chu is not fully leveled. So, in my, for now, my official is doing more damage, combining her with combining official from for Oz really with uh, Sucrose doing more damage. But if you have a fully built Jin Chu, I, I still gotta test that out. But yeah, that's gonna be it here from my Sucrose build. Uh, I hope I was able to provide you some insight into how to play her and what you can do with her things that you should be looking into uh, so as far as gear and things like that but uh let me know how you play sucrose i don't know if i miss anything let me know if you have some secret tips and tricks because i really enjoy the character and i would like to know more about her so yeah let me know if i miss anything but as always if you liked the video and thought it was informative i would appreciate it if you could hit that like button and if you want to see more genshin impact content from me don't forget to subscribe and if you want to help support the channel you can do so by hitting the joining the join button down below to become a member i really appreciate it and also come join the discord community and the streams on twitch and or youtube check the links down below for those things and stay tuned here for my next episode of daily commissions the series where i have a discussion with you guys while i run my daily commissions and any other guides and things that i that i that ended up posting for genshin impact but that's gonna be it for me for now and i'll see you guys on the next one take care